Welcome back to How to Angora. Uh, I am going to go over my very, very basic first aid kit. This is not including things like bandages and gauze, uh, but there are a couple things that you should definitely always have on hand. Uh, this is Vetracine Plus. It's a non-stinging solution. You can spray it on wounds. And even though it's for animals, you can totally... I'll, I use it. I shouldn't advocate medical advice, but... Uh, I use it on me because it's nice and it doesn't sting. I like to have on hand the Optimolic gel. Uh, if you notice your rabbit's eyes looking a little off or a little funky, you can use this on it. It's also for cats, dogs, etc. Vet RX. Uh, it's a poultry aid, but it's basically you can use it in their water or some people rub it on their nose. Um, it just kind of helps with respiratory stuff. If they're a bit sniffly or they're looking a little off, it can boost their immune system. Um, you can kind of think of it as like Vicks for animals, but for animals. I haven't actually used this one. I've heard a lot of people say blue cote. And I've also heard things like it can be really tough on animals like chickens and that it can damage the skin. So I haven't actually used it yet because my go-to is always the Vetricin Plus. Um, the next thing you're going to want to have is mineral oil. You'll use these to clean out the glands. Not really a first aid thing, but I'm including it. And you'll want ivermectin. This will treat wool mites. There is stuff online for dosing. Um, I prefer the topical application. It's just a lot easier. I've also heard you can do it orally or inject it. But topical is so much easier. Just make sure you get the right amount and measure it out. So have syringes on hand so you can get it out of the jar, take off the needle, and squirt it on your bun bun. Uh, athlete's foot powder and cornstarch. Uh, didn't bring out the cornstarch. Uh, cornstarch to stop any bleeding. And then this stuff if your bunny gets some weird fungal or if you're starting to get like sore hocks, you'll want to put things on it to keep it dry and clean. Uh, and that is really about it for my bunny first aid kit. Um, it's stuff I usually have on hand for my dogs and cats and chickens anyway, so there's a lot of double dipping. Uh, there you go.